Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, I woke up bad headache this morning and it has not gone away. In fact, it's been getting worse, so... You know what, I might not even finish this before I have to... Stop and just come back tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we've got... The shadows that it's drawing. I'm just gonna cut and paste this. And for these, the second part is VB... SRC and this is when you're printing your image over the shadow and for those we're just getting rid of that plus four because we're going to use the original picture that we were using so you should be yellow yeah yep yellow now um these little bits where it's leaving pieces behind we'll get that later what we're going to do is that whenever you land in an actual spot that's once a and i is equal to zero um, we want to do a check to see if you're landing on a pellet. If this equals, what are the pellets? Two. Then score equals score plus one, and we also want to say that the tile equals zero. Let's we'll see if that works. Now he still runs through the wall. Uh, it's not working. Oh, wait a minute. Not only does the tile equal to that, but tile A, where we have to change the graphics on this thing, equals zero. And then, because tile B is already zero, I believe. And we want it to look like this. Zero is, spot zero is So if tile B is already zero, we can just leave it. Um, hmm. Nope, that's not right. Let's see. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Remember that quick fix, everybody? Uh, how I set inform load tile was equal to zero, which is ground? Yeah, it's supposed to be two. Sorry. So, <laughs> if you haven't done any of the coding yet, if you start off by setting this equals two, and then you make your map, everything will be fine. And if not, you're going to have to go back to here, where I had made that fix, and we're going to do it again. We're going to go through, we're going to say if, I didn't delete the code, which is good, if the decoration for that tile happens to be spot one zero, we're going to say the tile equals to two. It'll save the map, and it'll end. Push the button, we're done. Now let's try this again. There we go. Now he's actually eating this stuff. Now we don't have the score displayed anywhere, but it is actually incrementing the score each time he eats something. These little pieces here, these are annoying. I need to get rid of these. <sighs> hmm. Because I was going to wait. You know what, I bet you it's something wrong in here. Copy this thing again, so I know what numbers equal what directions. I know there's programmers screaming at me that I should have done that differently, but... I'm not going to back out now. If it equals 4, he's going up. Yeah, so he draws. You know, I'm going to try swapping these for some reason. Sometimes I'll notice... No, that doesn't fix it. I was going to say, sometimes I'll notice that everything's exactly the opposite to what I thought it was supposed to be. And it's just because I'm thinking of it wrong. You know what? Let's do this the crappy way. I'm just going to call and draw the whole screen again. Each time he moves. You might notice a little bit of flickering because it's doing a lot more work now. It's drawing everything again, which is not the way to do it. But just for the sake of this, I don't want to mess around with uh, the right way to do things. And let's see if I can actually move the guy. Yep, I can control him. It works. Looks like we just need ghosts now. Oh wait, when he starts, he runs to the... Yeah, he's running through walls. We don't want him running through walls. I'll put his direction up when he starts, which is 4. So under form load, his direction will be 4 and 4. Okay, that works. Now for the ghosts, let's see... Where do the ghosts start off at? They start... 
Oh, you know, I gotta get rid of the code for letting you select stuff, because we don't really want that, do we? You know what, I'm gonna start the ghost where Pac-Man starts. But first, let's see here. I had a variable called starting, I think. Yeah, starting, and it's the countdown ticks. It's how many it should go. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off starting equal to, like... 200 or something. And in timer, starting will will decrease itself. Uh, how about this? If it's greater than zero. And once it hits some values, I'm going to create ghosts. If starting equals... What? That's 200. So let's say if it equals 150, then we're going to create a ghost. Um, ghost 1 equals, what did he start off as? Pac-Man was 10 and 7. Um, he's going to be traveling north. His animation starts off with 0. And of course he is alive. So there's that. We're going to have to draw the ghosts, so let's do the same exact stuff that we did for Pac-Man, and we'll loop through the four ghosts. And you know what, I'm going to put a big old if statement to say if they're alive. No, you know what, I'm not. I'm not even going to bother with it. G. Depending on the where he's at, it's GA for all these and GB. Oh, and GA and I. So it's it's a lot of modifying here. Slapping G's in front of stuff, and then we got to go through and put in that um, the Z in brackets. Wow, my head hurts. <laughs> this sucks. I probably am making less sense than I usually would. Oh, there's more. Yay. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I think that is partially because I seem to uh, underestimate the time it takes me to do these things. And a big part of it, I think, is that I'm trying to talk myself through this and explain it. Normally, I would just be moving. I wouldn't stop to think about any of this stuff. Plus, I'm, I'm actually being less sloppy than I normally would, just because uh, I want you guys to be able to read and somewhat understand what I'm doing. Um, that's the timer. Um, save the video.